Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Alex. Thank you for stepping by. If this is your first time, let me tell you a short story about myself. Last September, I quit my job and I started to do some Bitcoin. Uh, so this year, I decided that I want to learn programming because the technology of the Bitcoin and the, the smart contracts, the blockchain technology is so impressive to me. So I decided that this year I will learn programming. So my next dream job is to work on that field. If you would like to help me, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. So as usual, I'm sharing with you what I'm learning so far with Python. I, the Python is the first language that I, uh, I, I am learning. So today I'm going to share with you uh, what I learned about working on lists using append, pop, insert, and range. So I just created this, um, this list of names. So what I learned so far is how you can work with lists. There are like a lot of things to work with lists, but most importantly, or like as a beginner, I need to learn this. So names dot append to add, yeah, to add a, um, to add a new item or a new thing. So I should use zero or let, let's say two if I want to put it on uh, range number two because Alex here is zero and then one and then two. So it's supposed to append here. No? Oh, sorry, that is the insert one. No, sorry, that's the insert one. A bend, it just adds to the end of the list. So I want to add uh, another name, let's say Jim and run without printing. Yes. So print, I need to print uh, names run and we will have Jim here added to the end of the list. That's what I learned about a bin. Now, if I want to remove, if I want to remove one item, I can use names dot pop. Names dot pop. And it's optional to add the number here in case you didn't add any value in here. It will automatically delete the last item on the list, which is Jim here. Let's try this out. Cool. So Jim is gone because we did not add any value here. So automatically it takes the last item on the list. But if I added, let's say two, Jim is back now here and then zero, one, two, Ben is gone. So we have Shannon, Sarah and Alex and Jim. So that's what Bob needs. Oh, that's what Bob did. Now insert, if you want to add a new item to a list, but you want to put it in a specific place, not at the end of the list. So what you can do is the following names dot insert. And then what you need to do here is to put two values. Value number one is where do you want to put it? So you need to choose the index zero, one, two, three, now we have zero, one, two, three. So we can say one, for example, and then I want to insert the name. Um, I don't know the name. Uh, give me any name. Let's say Ben again. Let's see. Hmm. Ben is back, but here in the first list, original list, Ben was index number two because Alex is zero, Shannon is one and Ben is two. But now Ben is number one, index number one here because we deleted it from using the Bob function and then we insert it again using the insert method, but in a different place. Now what we need to do is to use range and I just learned range couple of minutes ago and I was excited to share it with you. Um, let's say we want to make a list of numbers from one to 
9, let's say. But instead of just writing num equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and etc. Instead of writing all this down, there is an easier way to do it, which is num equal range. Here's the trick. There is a small trick in here. When you use range, it will automatically start from zero. So you don't have to write zero and then the other number. It will automatically start from zero. The trick number two is if you want to include number nine, you should write 10 because when you use range function, it will not include the number inside the parentheses. So when you create a range uh, from zero to 10, that would include only number nine. So if we print num, what would we have? Zero to 10. That is not the list that we are looking for, right? But here, there is a range between 0 to 10. To turn this into a list, a list that this, this, this shape or this look, a list that we can actually use the indexes inside, what we need to do is very simple. We add list list and then we put it inside the parentheses. And when we print, we have boom, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, 10 is not included. That's the trick that you need to understand. So if I change 10 to seven, it will give me from zero to six because number seven will not be included. See, here it is. So that's what I learned about lists so far. Thank you so much for watching guys. I wish you can support me by subscribing to the channel, hit the notification button and give me a thumbs up. In the comments below, you will find a lot of links that might help you. Uh, uh, mostly YouTube tutorials and short videos, it might help you. Also, you can write down in the comments anything that might help me or anyone who might watch the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.